What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another March Madness promo break sold out. 2021 Panini Football Limited, 7-box half-gates break. Picking is number 4. Now, number 4 sold out before number 3. So, this will be the first half of the case. The second half will be uh, for the next one. So, there you go. Then, at the end of the break, of course, we'll randomize cards for names. Number 1 gets a March Madness promo spot. There you go, guys. Boom, boom. Now remember, I we don't have to sell out the last promo break, contenders number 10, since all we had to do was sell out only 30 of the 32 tonight. You know, thanks to Nick, of course, for allowing that to happen. But if I like that 10, 11.45 time slot, if number 10 were to sell out, I'll do it. And then we'll give away that final spot properly the way it should have been. Uh, for customers that, of course, you know, bought in to the break. And just to the left why the only reason why I say that is because Steven just got two spots in that break, and it brought it down to 10. So, obviously, I can't stay here all night, but, you know, you guys have a solid hour to potentially sell out the last 10 teams in contenders number 10, and I'll stay and do it if you guys want to. Just a little FYI. There are some pretty pricey teams still remaining, like the Bears at 330. Uh, and most of the teams are above 110, 120. But that's just a little, little extra there if you guys want to. All right, so seven on the left, seven on the right. Let's see which one we do. One. One, two, three. So this would be for limited number three, which, again, will be coming up next. And... Uh, But again, that doesn't have to happen tonight, though, to unlock the promo. That's just, obviously, to give out the last spot the way it should have been. But, let's see. Devontae Parker and Tutu Elwell. We have Derrick Henry and Paulson Adebo. Elijah Moore, a little RPA to 99. All right, next one. Yeah, it is, Ryan. It's going to go tonight whether the last one sells or not. But if you guys wanted to sell out that last one, we can. So we can properly give out the uh, 32 spots. But if not... Uh, we're gonna just give that last spot away to one of the 31 customers that got into the promo. So, regardless, it is gonna happen tonight. But for customers that you know potentially don't have a spot yet, you know, want to still win one more shot, then sell it out within the next hour, hour and 10 minutes, and then we can do that one and add it to the promo list.
George Kittle to 75 and Rondale Moore. Swift and Preston Williams for the Dolphins. Winner Richard. Ooh. Jill Jaspi putting that extra work right there. Trey Lance, 13 out of 99. So what you're basically saying is that you're going to, you know, kind of break someone's heart when they realize they got like a number 15 seed. <laughs> and not like a number one. Or number two. 49 is going to Dusty. Hey, as long as your team could potentially advance into the next round... At least you got 50 bucks. You know, it'd be really strong if they can get to, like, the Elite Eight. I think that's where, like, you know, you win, like, 150 at least. But, hey, anybody, you just never know, guys. I mean, honestly, anybody can win. I mean, I think a lot of people, you know, expected certain teams to lose already. <laughs> I know. Why St. Petersburg actually win again? I mean, look at USC lost today. I don't think anybody was really expecting USC to lose. Redemption. Trey Lance again. Still two color packs to 35. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was Lair and Jacob Harris, little RPA. You will not. <laughs> will not. Bam. Wow. Rookie patch autographs, gold spotlight, Jamar Chase. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see. What we got right here. Where's limited out right there? This was Ricky Patch Autographs. Card number 107 out of 99. And Gold Spotlight would be... Out of 75 or less. Which, actually, Jamar Chase already is out of 99. So, actually, it would be out of 75, probably. Yeah. Unless he was, like, Trey Sermon out of 29, then it would be less. There you go. Very nice. Cincy.
Next box. This one feels a little heavier. It might be a book. Or not, actually. Mahomesies, 10 of 10. And Diami Brown Relic. Well, you know people are taking them in Vegas, right? Just to, like, get those crazy odds to make it. Khalil Herbert to 49. Monra, St. Brown to 199. Detroit Lions, it's going to Steve. Also, guys, I'm, you know, I'm, maybe people have been listening to me, but don't look now. But we might not be giving away that free spot. Go look on the website, guys. Contenders is now down to six straight up. I think the big hurdle is going to be someone taking the Bears potentially, but. We're down to six. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't even that Rebel. There was other, other upsets yesterday and today. I think in ESPN brackets, there's only two perfect out of like 20 million. He could be upset, Brandon, but I, he, knew that, he knew it going in for the last like week. They've been working on that trade quietly with the Raiders for like, I think they said almost four or five days now. So Rodgers already knew it was happening. I'm pretty sure they informed him right away. And like I said, it had nothing to do with the Packers in the sense that like the Packers actually offered him more money than the Raiders did. But he just, he didn't want to play there no more. He wanted to play with the Raiders and Derek Carr. Which how often does that happen? You know? <laughs> right? That doesn't sound right. But, you know, obviously he was teammates with Carr, so... Just wanted to change the scenery. Probably tired of those cold winters. Wanted to be in Vegas instead. So, yeah. He was informed a while back. So. Hey, Rogers got paid. I think that's, that's what he wanted to. Kylan Hill. The one shocker today was Deshaun Watson, though. That one was... I mean, in the sense that, like... The reason why he signed with the Browns is because the Browns wanted to give him all his guaranteed money he wanted. Michael Carter, RPA. I guess the Falcons and the Saints weren't willing to give him a fully guaranteed contract, which I, I would probably not either. But the Browns were like, we'll do it. And we'll pay you more than they are. And I think it was an easy decision for Deshaun Watson today. He's like, yeah, I'll be a Brown. And I don't have to play against this guy twice a year. So Deshaun Watson could blow out his knee tomorrow. He could, he could, uh, you know, never play football again and he's going to get paid. I mean, I think we were talking about earlier, Boston and Mike. I think Ken Griffey Jr. is still getting paid from the Reds <laughs> from his fully guaranteed contract. He's like, I think, what, 7th or 10th on the payroll? <laughs> it's crazy.
Out of 75, Darren Waller and Anthony Schwartz. Yep, and the thing is, you know, they won't be able to draft first rounders no more this for the next three years, most likely. So they they got to get potential free agents to want to come to to uh, Cleveland. Levi, for Detroit. But hey, on paper, if, if Deshaun works out, you just traded for Amari Cooper. You got Nick Chubb still as your running back. You don't look half bad, right? Nico Collins at two ninety nine. Think also maybe Deshaun probably thought it was easier to win the AFC North and potentially win the NFC South, right? With Brady still being over there. Easier path potentially. No book on this side. So I think they said that uh, if he gets suspended, that the money that will be coming out of the suspension will be for the first year, which I think is like $11 million. I think he's on the payroll or something like that. Cap, I believe. I have to read read it again, but that's where the money would come out of if he gets suspended from the NFL. Because that can still happen. The NFL can just suspend him for X amount of games slash year. I don't think it'll be a year though. But Zeke and Elijah Moore. Yeah, most of his money is it's probably like extension or uh, signing bonuses. Brevin Jordan. Yeah, I can see him being suspended for like four to six games for sure. I feel like they should and they probably will. Shuba Hubbard. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, the Browns basically accommodated him saying, don't worry about your money. <laughs> You're going to get paid with this. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. Shuba Hubbard, Brevin Jordan. All right, Michael Carter, Amonra, Jamar Chase, Trey Lance, Trey Lance. There we go. Appreciate it, guys. Now let's give away that uh, March Madness promo spot. There you go. So let's copy and paste the customer names that are in this break. Number four. All right. Roll the dice. Two and a five, seven times. Good luck. Customer name number one gets it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Boom, seven times. Two and a five, seven. Just missing out was Angel. Sorry about that, Angel. All the way down to 32. 
But congrats to Richard. There you go. Rich the Biz on Instagram. Congratulations, man. Boom. Seven times you're in. You are in. And this was limited number four. Limited number three. The second half is coming up next. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.